Hi, my name is Sydney Wetmore, and today I'm going to give my speech for Sociology 101 about the analysis of the television series I did on Orange is the New Black. Orange is the New Black is set in a minimum security women's prison in Litchfield, New York. Uh, there are multiple themes throughout the series, some of which include things like confinement and white privilege. The show also attempts to address issues of race, gender, sexuality, ethnicity, and so on. The main character and protagonist of the series is Piper Chapman. Piper is a self-proclaimed white Anglo-Saxon Protestant from an upper middle class family. During the first episode, she decides to surrender at the prison due to being named in an indictment for her participation in a former illegal drug trade. The audience gets to see what prison is really like within the walls of Litchfield Penitentiary through Piper's firsthand experience. Upon her arrival, we see how her white privilege background will not fly in the prison. We also get to meet many of the characters, all of which come from uniquely diverse backgrounds. Race plays a huge role in the series. Most of the prisoners of similar ethnic or racial backgrounds navigate towards one another. For example, Latina or Hispanic women generally belong to what is known to be the prison's Spanish Harlem. Some of the women who reside in this portion of the prison include Daya and her mother Gloria. Daya arrives at the prison the same day as Piper and is greeted with disapproval by her mother. Gloria took the fall for her boyfriend, Cesar, a drug dealer outside of the prison, leaving Daya to take care of her children. Both women portray strong Hispanic attitudes and identities throughout the series. Aside from Spanish Harlem, there is also an area known as the suburbs, where mostly white prisoners are sent, and there is also the ghetto that is made up primarily of African American inmates. Another topic that's covered throughout the series has to do with the LGBTQ community. During the first scene of the series, Piper is shown having sexual relations with her ex-girlfriend Alex Voss, a former drug smuggler who also happens to be an inmate in the prison. She is also displayed having sexual relations with a male, Larry, who is her fiancé in the beginning of the series. Upon Piper's arrival at the prison, she's told by the prison counselor, Mr. Healy, that she does not need to participate in lesbian affairs within the prison. Later in the series, during episode 3, which is titled Lesbian Request Denied, Mr. Healy tells Piper that if it were up to him, he would take the, all the butch ones and he'd place them in a little boy's rank and separate them from the general community. These scenes display Mr. Healy's homophobia and show how he prefers that women act appropriately in their gender role. During the first episode, Piper is also introduced to Sophia Bursette, an African-American transgender who acts as the hairdresser in the prison. Throughout the first three episodes, we see a few different developments in regards to Sophia, one of which involves the prison cutting back on her hormones. They decided that there was only enough money in the budget for her to, to have enough hormones to maintain. The prisoner director says something in regards to the fact that if Sophia wanted to maintain her girlish figure, she should have just stayed out of prison. The guards in the prison have zero compassion towards Sophia's transgender identity. Another sociological concept we see per being portrayed throughout the series is so Conflict theory. Conflict theory is the idea that we are ultimately always competing in society for limited resources. This theory occurs throughout the series in that the prisoners have extremely limited resources and have to make do with what they are given. For example, Sophia shows Piper how she made her own shower shoes out of duct tape because commissary does not sell a size 13. This theory is also relevant when the hardcore Russian inmate and head cook in the prison decides to starve Piper to death after Piper calls her food disgusting. Red initially, initially shows Piper that 
you take what you can get and you keep your mouth shut or you can struggle to even make it out of life. The series as a whole covers many different sociological ideas and perspectives from conflict theory to racism, sexism, gender roles, or biases. It attempts the diff the different it emphasizes the different demographics of the inmates within the prison and seeks to defy certain stigmas and further tackle important social issues.